I always assumed that if you had some water and added a ton of salt to it, it would just make a uniform salty solution. It brought me so much joy when I realized reality was very different. Let's do an experiment that looks at diffusion, density, and buoyancy. If you wanna try this one at home, it is pretty safe. You just need balloons, salt. We're using so much salt. Dye and 150 milliliter syringe, which I'll show you in a second. To start, I took my big jar, filled it with water, added a ton of solar salt, which is sodium chloride pellets. With a tube attached to my 150 milliliter syringe, I immediately took some solution from the bottom. I figured the bottom would have the most salt dissolved in solution. Then I put the solution in a balloon to see if the balloon would sink or float. The first balloon was a huge mess. I'll probably use a different technique if I ever need to fill hydrochloric balloons. I made sure to let out all the air and then tied off the balloon. When I dropped in the balloon, it sank to the bottom, which I sort of suspected since that's where I got the solution from and it was likely the most dense but then something started happening. The balloon started to rise. As more salt dissolved, the solution surrounding the balloon became more concentrated and thus more dense. The balloon was filled with less dense solution, so it felt a buoyant force and went to the surface. Then I took some more solution from the bottom, filled the balloon, let out the air, and the balloon sank right to the bottom again. I thought this one would also start to rise. I gave it a stir to see if that would lift the super salty solution from the very bottom of the glass and maybe make the balloon rise, but is pretty content to relax at the bottom of the jar. I got a beaker and took some solution from the middle, then put solution in my beaker. I grabbed some blue dye and added it to the solution, then mixed it around. This went back into the syringe so I could put the solution back where I got it. I wasn't sure how much diffusion I would get. I did my best to add the solution slowly so it'd mix as little as possible with the surrounding solution. I was somewhat surprised that it made a pretty distinct band in the middle of the beaker. I took a little solution from the blue band and put it in another balloon. Where do you think it will sink to? It floated quite pleasantly in the blue band since the interior and exterior salt concentrations were about equal. The blue band was nice, so I thought I'd see if I could make another. The solution from the bottom was removed, added to a small beaker, a few drops of red dye, Then it was swirled. The red solution from the bottom was then slowly put back in the jar. It made a pretty nice red band. I'm starting to wonder if we could make a flag. I just moved the camera so you could see there was actually a clear band in between the blue and the red bands. I removed a little bit of this clear layer, added it to a small beaker, got some green dye, added it, then swirled the solution sucked it back in the syringe and slowly added it back into the clear layer. It went in pretty nicely and gave a nice green layer. At this point, I was pretty surprised that just adding salt had given at least five layers. Do you see them? The layer that's easy to miss is the clear water surrounding the salt on the bottom. Why do you think that the bottom layer stayed clear? I took some solution from the top, which should be the least concentrated, added it to a small jar with a little red dye, then swirled. But this time, I thought I might get a better layer if I let the dye slowly diffuse out of the beaker. It worked pretty good till the last little bit that I tipped too quickly and invaded the blue layer. I didn't stir it because I thought it looked pretty cool. I wanted to try and get that last clear layer at the bottom, but you can see the red from the layer above sneaks in. This is pretty obvious when I put the solution in a jar. I still wanted to try, so I added blue dye and swirled it around before putting it back in the syringe. I was curious if it would sink to the bottom if I added it to the top, so I tried. Even though it was the most concentrated solution, it only sank to the green layer. I think it was diluting as it fell. What do you think? When I added the blue directly to the bottom, it's at pretty much where the red had been, so the water around the salt crystals stayed clear. Does this give you any ideas of experiments we should try? Do you have any bonus insights on why this is happening? Let me know in the comments. Consider subscribing so our experiments can get bigger and bigger and better. Be curious and science on.